your Nobel Prize winner for the second time! Story time! Okay, picture this. You're sitting in a class pretending to take notes when in reality, you're secretly watching the Nobel Prize announcements. And then, boom! They call a name and it's from our university. Our entire row turned to chaos. We jumped up, cheered like full-on stadium energy before realizing, oh, we're still in a lecture and the professor is trying to teach us. His face, I will never forget that look. He was so done with his job. But anyway, minutes later, the university hosts a celebratory event. We to you live today from the uh, Nobel Room, where today we announced the uh, Nobel Prize for Physics. And when we show up, reporters literally everywhere. It was literally like Oprah. You get a reporter, and you get a reporter, and you get a reporter. Then, that's when she walked in. Anne Lulia, the newest Nobel laureate in physics. And then you get higher The room, it was dead silent, except for the cameras. She had just won for her groundbreaking work in attosecond physics, along with Pierre Agostini and Frank Krauts, who we also met later. Their work is crazy cool, but not today's topic. So that was a while ago, but then flash forward to literally last Tuesday when she showed up again! She gave us a lecture on lasers, which was part of our course, but also because 2025 is the International Year of Quantum Science, celebrating a hundred years since Heisenberg, Schrödinger, and Dirac essentially made quantum mechanics. The funny thing is that on Tuesday, as each one of my classmates walked in, looked up, saw who was standing by the whiteboard, they would literally freeze, their faces would turn to giant smiles, they would lower their heads and walk so awkwardly past her trying to get to their seats. Yeah, I think we all turned into total fangirls that day.